Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to today's video. As you can tell by the title, today I am going to be filming my birthday get ready with me which I am so so excited about. So today I'm actually lucky enough to be working with one of my newly discovered favourite brands which is Vincero. I absolutely love this company, they make the most beautiful, luxurious watches that I just think are absolutely gorgeous and they're, they have quite distinctive designs so that you really know it's one of their pieces when you look at it. This watch has just so many really, really beautiful little quirks to it and I'm just absolutely in love. I'm going to be 100% honest, I had a watch from Guess and obviously Guess is a very well known brand and the quality was nowhere near this so I am so so impressed with this that is me genuinely I have it in the bathroom and I haven't really been wearing it because this just looks so much nicer it feels so much nicer the quality is just beautiful this brand I've had a look for their talking points and they've said that I don't need to mention anything they just want me to genuinely talk about why I love it which is so easy for me but one thing really stood out to me and that is the meaning behind the name Vincero the word Vincero literally means I will win I think that is so cool one of their missions is to kind of remind the person that is wearing the watch to keep things classy but not to be afraid to challenge convention which I feel like is me as a person so yeah if you guys would like to purchase one of these watches be sure to click the link in the description but I'm going to be showing you them in a little bit in my outfit choices so I know this is a super long intro but I should say thank you so much to Vincero for sponsoring this because I absolutely love this watch if you guys would like to get your hands on one of these watches then be sure to click the link in the description I also have a discount code that is written on screen right now but I'll tell you a little bit more throughout the video about this watch and the brand because I just am absolutely in love. Without further ado let's get into the main portion of the video which is makeup, hair and outfits. I have two outfit choices for day and night so the reason I'm uploading this a little bit earlier is because I wanted you guys to give me your feedback in the comment section on which outfit I should wear for the daytime and which outfit I should wear for the nighttime because I am just stuck. So I am super excited for you guys to watch this video so let's just get into it. Hey guys, so to start out with me getting ready, the first thing I'm doing is washing my hair and kind of having a little bit of like a pamper in the shower. So I'm using the Lee Stafford Coco Loco Shampoo and Conditioner. I've been using this every single time that I wash my hair because it just works so nice. And look at those lines on my back from where my clothes have been itching me. Do you guys get them too? And then I shaved my legs. I used the Soap and Glory like body butter thing for in the shower it works really really well to help you shave and look how dodgy my fake tan looks I promise I scrubbed this off that same night and then reapplied because this was like week old tan but I just shaved my legs because you know you've got to have silky smooth legs especially on your birthday this is a ritual for me if I've got something big coming up I always shave and moisturize so the first thing I'm doing with my hair is brushing it through with a wet brush and then applying a heat protectant spray so it doesn't get damaged because my hair is already really really damaged and then I just brush that through again so that it coats it evenly and then I go in with some hair oil this is from Tresemme and I just put that into the ends of my hair to make it a little bit shinier and also help kind of reverse the damage that's been done and I do this all while my hair is kind of damp I let it dry for like an hour-ish so it's just a little bit wet and then I go in with my shine spray from Evo and it basically does what it says on the tin and then I dried it with my hair dryer and you can see that I'm literally cringing while I'm using it because it sounds like it's about to blow up genuinely I need to buy a new one after I've dried my hair, I just brush it all out as you can see it gets pretty big so I just brush it all out to get all of the knots out And then I start parting my hair. I part it into three part it into three pieces and then tie it up in a bun at the back of my head and then just curl away from my face, towards my face, away from my face, towards my face. And I do that just section by section until all of my hair's done. And I always make sure that I curl the two front pieces that frame my face away so that it's not kind of like surrounding my face and making me look chubby. And that's it. So on to makeup, the first thing I'm doing is using my Burberry, um, I'm not sure what this is, but it's like a highlighter thing that you can use as a primer or mix in with your foundation. Obviously I'm using it as a primer and it just leaves this absolutely beautiful glow to your skin and adds a little bit of colour because as you can see I don't put fake tan on my face. My arms look really really dark in comparison. So I just use that all over my face and then blend it in and it just gives a really nice healthy glow. You can actually use this just kind of like on its own to just make you look really um, 
glowy and radiant without having any foundation on. And then I'm going in with my YSL concealer. I got this recently and I absolutely love it. And I'm just going over any blemishes or scars. I actually don't have any blemishes right now, but I do have a lot of scarring. Because I am naturally quite pale, scars tend to kind of stick on my skin, which is really, really annoying. But then I just use my tiny little beauty blender and blended everything in, so it just worked seamlessly. Also, if you guys are interested in any of the products I'm using, you can find them linked in the description. As for my foundation, I'm using my Milani foundation. This is a new find of mine, and I'm using the shade 05 Warm Beige. It works so well, it gives a really nice coverage, and what I love about this foundation is the fact that it is so, like, blendable and versatile. You can wear this if you're going for a really, really natural makeup look, or you can wear it if you're going for a really full coverage look because it is so buildable and it doesn't look cakey even if you do build it up. I'm then going in with my concealer. This is also from Milani and this is in one of the lightest shades. I think this is in like 01 or 02. And I'm just applying it to all the places that you usually would. So I'm doing a little triangle on my forehead. I'm doing triangles underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow and also on my chin. And then I'm going in again with my little teeny tiny beauty blender and blending this all out. Honestly, this gives me all my like, using the little one, but it always looks so much better when I do. Something that I've been doing recently is using my Laura Mercier powder to set my under eyes. I didn't used to use any powder, but I've been kind of going over my entire face with it now because I did notice I was getting a little bit shiny, especially when I was filming because the studio lights would just be on me and like picking up all the shininess on my face. So I looked super like oily but it was just the studio lights reflecting. And then I went in with my contour. This is from Makeup Revolution, I'm pretty sure. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's a really natural color, and again, it's really blendable, which I really, really like. I just apply this to all the normal places that you'd apply contour, so on my temples, around my hairline, and down my cheekbones, and also my chin. And then I have recently started wearing blusher, so I'm going in with my Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. Do you guys remember when literally everybody on YouTube used to wear this? Every single makeup tutorial this blusher used to be in. And I've only just started wearing it, so yeah, I really like it. And then I'm going in with my um, Burberry highlighter on this big fan brush, and it's just this absolutely beautiful colour. It looks really quite natural and just like you've got a natural glow to your skin rather than you're wearing highlighter, which I absolutely love. It's definitely one of the more natural ones I've worn. And then I just went in with a little bit of lip balm and then did my eyebrows. I'd recently dyed my eyebrows so I only needed like a little bit of TLC. But I just brushed them out and then used a pomade to fill them in from NYX. I'm pretty sure I do the same thing every single day. And honestly, if you don't dye your eyebrows, definitely do it. It makes it so much easier to like fill them in. As for eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Smashbox palette that I'm using right now. I'm holding it. It's the full exposure palette and I'm going in with a super light shimmer for the inner corner. And then I'm going in with the gold for the lid and slightly into the crease. And then I'm going in with like the dark bronzy gold for right in the crease. And then I'm using my contour shade to actually blend that out. I am not the biggest fan of super dark eyeshadow on me. I don't think it's the most flattering on my skin tone or my eye shape. I prefer to kind of go with like a more golden smoky eye rather than a really harsh one, even on big occasions, just because it suits me so much better. And I just feel comfortable doing that as well. I know I'm not going to mess up because it is super easy. For my lower lash line, I am going in with this little, um, I don't know what this is called. It's like a smudge brush and it came with the eyeshadow palette. This brush did the flat ended and then the... Um, like smudge brush in and I just used a dark brown shade on my lower lash line and then I went in with my Marc Jacobs mascara which I absolutely love and for my lips I just lined them with I think this is a Milani lip liner I'm pretty sure actually you know what that's from Revlon I went in with a Revlon lip liner and just lined my lips because my natural lip color is just kind of like I'm fine with it I don't really need to wear lipstick it comes off anyway and then I just touched up my contour a little bit and that is pretty much it for the makeup so here are my outfit choices. This is day outfit number one and I'm just wearing some blue skinny jeans from Super Dry. My top is from H&M and this watch is obviously my Vincero watch and I'm also wearing my Cartier bracelet. As you can see, you guys will see, this watch goes with absolutely everything. 
and I feel like it's just such a beautiful extra detail to the outfit it goes so lovely and yeah let me know in the comment section whether you prefer this outfit So outfit number two is definitely more kind of girly and summery. Um, I'm wearing this little summer dress from Zarful that I absolutely love. I love the colours of it, it's so pretty. And then it just ties around the waist and has a few little frills on. I'd probably wear this with um, some flats or maybe even some boots to just kind of like add a little bit of warmth to it. I'm not too sure what the weather's going to be like on my birthday. But as you can see, I'm wearing my watch again with my Cartier bracelet and it just looks so nice. I just think this is the absolute most beautiful finishing touch to the outfit. And that is daytime outfit number two. So for the evening, as you can see, this is my first choice and it is a red dress. I know I had a lot of questions about this, so I'll try and find a link in the description to where I got it from. I really, really love it. I love the kind of like satiny finish to it. And again, I'm wearing my uh, Vincero watch with my Cartier bracelet. And I just think this watch goes with absolutely every outfit, whether it's dressy or casual. I just love it. I think it just adds the most beautiful little extra detail. I am a big fan of jewelry. I feel like it can really just finish off an outfit. And yeah, that is nighttime outfit number one. So for nighttime outfit number two, I'm wearing another dress, but this is kind of a more burgundy dress and it's a little bit more like out there because it's got the sparkles in it. I know I need to pull the top up, I do in a sec. <laughs> I need to get the straps altered if I do wear this, but this is nighttime outfit number two. I just absolutely love this. I would be wearing both of these with black heels, just for reference if you guys are wondering. I really do like this. I think it is quite flattering. I think the ruching looks quite nice. And again, I'm wearing my watch and the bracelet and I just think it just looks so gorgeous. It literally goes with everything and that is nighttime outfit number two. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to comment down below which outfit I should wear for the daytime and which outfit I should wear for the evening time on my birthday because I'm just so stuck and I don't know what to wear. The only thing I'm sure about is wearing this watch. Again, if you would like to buy this watch, I really do recommend it genuinely. This is so gorgeous and I feel like this just makes every single outfit. I wear it every single day and it just adds an extra something to my outfit, whether I'm wearing a really dressy outfit or a really casual outfit, it just works with everything. It's so beautiful. If you'd like to buy it, the link is in the description and I also have a discount code on screen for you guys. So yeah, definitely tag me in your Instagram pictures when you've got it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you've had an absolutely lovely day and I will see you super soon with a brand new video. Bye!